defence of Cardin was just too much for her. So we're moving on to the seventh match. The seventh match of this, the 49th European Senior Karate Championships. And it is between Haruna from Ukraine and Buza from Italy. Yeah, Luigi Buza. Luigi we know Buza is uh, one of the most experienced fighter in this uh, European Championship. And uh, he already been world champion, European champion. And then... Current world and European champion, Luigi Buza in blue from Italy. A big face that we've had missing from the championships here. Of course is Agir. Yes, I heard he, he has an injury and uh, that's why he's not here. Oh, because everybody, lots of people around the stadium have been asking, well, where is uh, Rafael Agir? And do you know what the, the source of the injury is? It, uh, no, I don't know exactly. I just heard that he's injured. He was he tried to come, but at the end... Uh... Well, let's hope he's uh, recovered for the World Championships later in Bremen, in Germany. But in the meantime, we have Luigi Buza in blue for Italy against Stanislav Horuna from Ukraine in red. Yeah, Horuna is a very young, young fighter and... Uh, He took a bronze medal in the European Team Championships uh, some, uh, for regions in 2013. Yeah. So he's trying to make his mark in the European senior events. And here he is in the final of the 49th European Championships in Finland. Yeah, the elimination he did was very good. He uh -huh. did a great, great job and... Uh, but now Buza is a, it's really a hard bit because it's very clever, very fast. But and he's, uh, Buza is in no hurry to enforce his uh, superiority as current world and European champion. He has plenty of time. Again, as we were talking about four minute matches, it used to be three minute matches. Is that fourth minute really necessary? We've seen both competitors now, passivity again, no action. What do you think? Is this something that you might review? But something that may be considered in the future? I think uh, now we had two matches that was good, but um, I think the, they will change it again back to, to the normal time because it's not used. No. And as we can see, we're now two minutes, uh, 23 seconds left of the match, and there's a little bit more action taking place but often we have seen in the past where world titles have changed and we won in the last one or two seconds of a match because it is incredibly fast once once uh, competitors get engaged properly yeah that's it he he wait at the good moment and uh, he control he could um, control the fights and that's uh We Luigi do Buzza. what you have to do. Uh, Hiruna just trying a Yushiro Gary. But it moved past Buza. Didn't score. Robert Amara, the referee. Robert Amara from Norway. Not convinced of any score. One minute, 37 seconds left. No score between these two. Minus 78 kilogram competitors. Luigi Busa in blue for Italy. Current world and European champion, but not doing enough. I'm not quite sure why he, he's uh, not his normal fight. Jordan Zucchi from Busa, but it just slips past the face of Huruna. Yeah, Huruna. He fights well against him, and uh, he don't let Buza do his score.
Moving into the last minute of the match. No score from either of these fighters. Fast Jordan Zuki from Buza. Look like, Juro Look like Jordan Yurakunic. Uh, yes. But now we have also one flag for. For uh, we have a, Haruna a, a, and, uh, a contested yeah, score contested. from Haruna. Yeah, I think they're looking for Chudanzuki at the same time. But for me, it looked as though uh, it looked as though Buza's uh, Jordan Jordanuc was a little bit faster. Yeah. There's the coach waiting pensively. But it was a very good, very good Jordan Uch from Jurakanucci. Yeah, the Gyaku is also. Haruna has been given the score. Yep. So this is an example of where the where the cards can work well. Yeah, the, I think that, that was correct in this way. And, of course, and there's only a millisecond between these techniques sometimes. So we have one point to each. We're in the last 25 seconds of the male minus 75 kilogram championships. Crowd wishing a point, which isn't accepted by the judges. John Anzuki again from Buza. Pulled away from the fighter and then delivered a fast John Anzuki. Takes in the lead. Now he's in the last 10 seconds, nine seconds. Haruna getting a bit desperate to try and get back in here. So they will be difficult against. But again, Haruna falls back onto his back. And Buza gets a warning for it. Time is up. Luigi Buza takes the European title to add to his world and current European championship title to become the 49th European minus 75 kilogram male champion. Raising the hand of his opponent, Stanislav Horuna from Ukraine. I think, uh, Dominic, that sometimes when you're looking at the matches at the early part of the matches, particularly with this extra minute, four minutes or three minutes, I completely agree with you. It's a bit. It seems a bit too slow. I know there's a there's a lot of time, but we we talked about competition in in, in days gone by, being a bit slow. But it was a show whip on. So it's the first person to score would win the match, and that would be over. Of course, this is uh, the European Championships, and 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 nobody wants to give an inch, do they? They want to use these tactics. But how do we change that? How do we make it more dynamic in the early stages of these matches? That's very difficult. I think all the other sports, if you see the final, it's not all the time the, the most interesting uh, uh, match. So, because uh, you don't want to lose first. No. And then, uh, okay, you have the, the best uh, in front of you. And uh, so, if you do a mistake, it's difficult to, 